Okay, awesome. Can everybody hear me? Thumbs up if you can hear my voice. Awesome. Well, my name is Nicole and I have the honor of being able to lead you through your practice this evening. Um, we're together for about 75 minutes. So let's just go ahead and get started. Child's pose. Yeah, bring your knees really wide to the outer edges of your mat and then just allow yourself to rinse out fully to the floor. Begin to come into your breath. And soften all of your joints. Allow yourself to just melt into your mat. As you inhale, allow your fingertips to reach forward to the front of your space. And then as you exhale, sink your hips down and back towards your heels. Yeah, really lengthening out your spine, creating space from the inside out. Take one more big breath and really fill up your lungs. And then open your mouth, let the air out, take a big sigh. Yeah, and do that again, really fill your lungs all the way up. Maybe you even hold it at the top. And then just let go. Yeah, just like that. And then let's go ahead and thread the needle. So bring your right, hand through and under your left. Yeah, maybe that means you like rest on to your right temple. And you take your left hand over, go for a five. Like really open up, begin to create what you need right here. Take two more breaths. Come back to child's pose. And then take your needle the opposite way. Lift your left hand up and then thread through your right arm. And just experience this side. Take two more breaths right here. child's pose. Tabletop, make your way onto your hands and knees. And just begin to create movement, like maybe you shake side to side, let your neck, your shoulders release a little bit. On your next breath in, drop your belly, set your gaze up at the ceiling, cow pose. And then exhale, round your spine like an angry cat. Now really pull your belly button towards your spine. And then again, cow pose, drop your belly, set your gaze up, and then move into cat. Take three more, just like that, to your breath, in and out. Keep your joints stacked on top of one another. When you're complete with your final set, come into a neutral spine. Make your back as flat as possible. Drop your gaze in between your knees. Set your point to a back at your set your gaze to a point at the back of your mat, downward facing dog. Yeah, maybe you pedal out your feet. Ground down into the four corners of your hands. 
and draw your shoulder blades and really move them into your body and pull your chest towards your legs. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat. Take your right leg up to the sky. Bend your knee. Open up your hip through leg dog. Yeah, really opening up, creating space in the right side of your body. Your inner ankles back, your outer ankles down. One more big breath. Downward dog. And then take the left side, reach your left leg up, three leg dog. thoracic spine and really draw your upper arm bones back. Really open up in the left side. Downward facing dog. Walk your feet to your wrist, rag dog. Keep your feet hip width distance or wider. Yeah, really take up space on your mat. And I invite you, I encourage you to soften your knees, like allow your chest to rest onto your thigh. Drop the crown of your head towards the earth. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let the air out. Bring your feet to touch, rise all the way up, extended mountain pose. Yes, work your fingertips up to the sky. Set your gaze up in between your hands. Yeah, and root down into the four corners of your feet and begin to find your true north alignment. Everything stacked, hogging everything into the center. Take a big breath in. Exhale, draw your hands to the center of your chest. We'll begin our practice with three ohms. Tadasana, mountain pose. Reach your fingertips up. Lead, reach your sternum towards the sky. Take a tiny back bend. And really open up the front side of your body. Exhale, bow forward. Gaze down at your shin. And then stack your hips over your ankles. Notice if your weight is too far back in your heels. Feel the four corners of your feet. On your next breath in, rise up halfway. Pull the crown of your head forward and really press your tailbone back. Hug your outer shins in. Bow forward. Halfway rise. High plank. Plant your hands, stack your joints. Yeah, shoulders right over wrist, your heels right over the balls of your toes. And I invite you to take what you need. If you need to bring your knees to the earth or come onto your forearms, take that. Wherever you decide to go, really hug everything in from your skin to your muscles to your bones. Exhale, low plank. Draw your elbows into your side body. Upward facing dog. Press the tops of your feet into the floor. Lift your hips, lift your thighs off the earth. Downward facing dog. Big breath in, bigger breath out. Step to the front of your mat. Halfway rise, bow forward. Tadasana mountain pose, reach up tall through the sides of your body. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise halfway, high plank. Take three breaths. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Exhale, 
Inhale, move into low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Step to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, bow forward. Tadasana, mountain pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, high plank, two breaths. Find the engagement in your core. Move into low. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Step walk or float to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, bow forward. Tadasana, forward fold, halfway lift, high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, breathe in, breathe out, step walk or float to the front of your mat, halfway lift, bow forward, Tadasana, mountain pose, Fold forward, halfway lift, chaturanga, high to low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, breathe in, breathe out, step walk or float to the front of your mat, halfway lift, bow forward, tadasana, reach up tall, fold forward, halfway lift, chaturanga, Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, breathe in, breathe out. Step walker float to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, bow forward, chair pose. Bring your big toes to touch and leave space in between your ankles. Yeah, and this time I'm gonna ask you to sink your weight down and back. So really feel the four corners of your feet rooted against the earth and just bring your hips back. Yeah, and just notice if you're in default and if you can take yourself just a little bit lower into your chair. Yeah, come into a neutral pelvis. Lift the front of your pelvis up, pull your tailbone down. Stay and breathe. Bow forward, halfway lift, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right side of warrior one. Step your right foot to your right wrist, reach your fingertips up towards the sky. And then press into the knife edge of your back foot for stability here. Take yourself deeper into your lunge. Yeah, really bring your thigh parallel towards your mat. Draw your shoulder blades and move them into your body. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one. Come back to your breath. Like notice if you're losing the rhythm as you're trying to get into the posture. Use the breath to move you there. Draw your lower rib cage in and then create that expansion in your mid back. Ground down into the four corners of your feet. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. Step walk or float to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, bow forward, chair pose. Yeah, and I invite you to see if there's something new in this chair. Can you take yourself a little bit deeper? Can you fill your lungs up just a little bit longer? 
from your skin to your muscles to your bones, hug in and then stay in that fire. You've got this, take one more breath, bow forward, halfway lift, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right side of warrior one. Lungs as you rise, exhale flow, chaturanga, upward facing dog, Downward facing dog, left side, warrior one. Use your breath to propel your movement. Exhale, slow, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, breathe in. Breathe out. Step walker, float to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, bow forward. Chair pose, one breath, take yourself to your edge, bow forward, halfway lift, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right side, warrior one, use your breath, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left side, warrior one. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, take four breaths. Come back into your body, back into the rhythm of your breathing. Take a big breath in, let the air out. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat. Lift your right leg up to the sky, bend your knee, open up your hips, your legs up. And you've been here before, so maybe you're ready to take on something new here. You bring your foot to the earth for flip dog. Yeah, maybe you're working from flip dog to wheel. Yeah, really draw in and find your fullest expression out. Take two more breaths right here, staying, breathing, growing. High plank. Side plank on your right. Stand on your right hand. Set your gaze at your left thumb. And take your side plank. If that's a forearm down or a knee down or ankles stacked, take it on. Wherever you are, lift your hips up towards the sky. Pull the pit of your belly in and up and get active in your hands, feet, and core. Take two more breaths right here. Yeah, maybe you lift that left. Grab that toe. You've got this. High plank. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat. Take your left leg up this time. Yeah, and tap into possibility and discovery on this side. A whole different side, an entire different experience. Yeah, really lift your hips up to the sky. Draw your shoulder blades and move them into your body. Take one more breath. High plank. Side plank on your left. Come on to your left hand. Reach your right hand up tall. Hug your outer shins in. Activate your feet, whether they're pointed or flexed. Like really bring energy into your foot. Get active in your entire body. And as you get tighter, you begin to get lighter. So where can you expand from the inside out? Take one more breath, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take three breaths. Mm -hmm. 
Right side, crescent lunge. Step your right foot to your right wrist. Stack your back heel over the balls of your back toes. Yeah, spark your fingertips up towards the sky and then find your stability. For me, I need to take my legs out wider. So I think railroad track versus a tightrope. Just see what lands in your body, what works for you. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Draw your hands to the center of your chest and twist to the right. Bring your left elbow to your right knee. You can also take an open twist where you just extend your arms opposite directions, your left hand forward, right hand back. And begin to tap into your shoulder integrations here. Like pull your shoulders down and back so you can move from your thoracic spine. Yeah, and every inhale, begin to get long through the spine. And as you exhale, rinse out. Fill your lungs, get length. Exhale, twist. One more, fill up. Twist open. Warrior two. Spin your back knife edge of your foot to the floor. Set your gaze over your right middle finger. And press your knee over towards your pinky toe and then get lower in your lunge. Yeah, draw your shoulder blades and move them into your body. Ground down into your feet. Flip your palm, reverse your warrior. Reach your fingertips to the back of your space. Keep the bend in your front knee. Extended side angle. Bring your right hand to the inside of your right foot. Bring your elbow to your thigh. And you've got four breaths right here. So like maybe you play with your a bind or a balance here. Draw in and find your fullest expression. Maybe that's just staying right where you are and being in your feet. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Really open up your chest up towards the sky. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side, crescent lunge. Time really set yourself up on this side. Draw your shoulders away from your ears and get active in your hands. Bring your hands to heart center. Twist to the left. Bring your right elbow to your left knee. Or take your open twist on this side. Stay active in your back leg. Really pull your back kneecap up towards the sky. Yeah, and if you want to open up your arms or start to play here, like I encourage you, I invite you. Tap into discovery on this side. Every inhale, find that length. And as you exhale, really rinse open. Big breath in. Exhale, twist. Warrior two. Lift the front of your pelvis up, pull your tailbone down. Sink deeper into your front leg. Reverse your warrior, flip your palm, reach your fingertips to the back of your space. Extended side angle. Bring your left hand to the inside of your left foot or your elbow to your knee. Open up your chest. And take three breaths on this side. Maybe you play with that bind, that balance. Stand from the inside out. One more breath. 
Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Step walker, float to the front of your mat. Halfway rise. Bow forward. Chair pose. Draw your hands to the center of your chest. Take a twist to your right. You can take your open twist or bring your elbow to your knee. Bring your hips lower than your heart. So your lower body down and lift your chest up. Yeah, take three breaths right here. Really open up. Create space for something new right here, right now. One more breath. Rag doll. Grab your big toes with your peace finger. Pull your chest towards your thigh. Yeah, drop the crown of your head. Let your head go. Just feel the stretch in your hamstrings and the back sides of your legs. Inhale, rise halfway. Go bow forward. Release your bind, bring your feet together, rise up, chair, pose. Bring your hands to the center of your chest, twist to the opposite side. Bring your knees in line with one another. Notice if one is moving forward past the other, bring them into a straight line. Yeah, then square your hips and sink your hips lower as you open up your heart. Yeah, take three breaths right here. Open up those arms. Yeah, I see you. Go. Expand from the inside out. Take advantage of the time, the space, the opportunity. Ragdoll. Gorilla, bring your palms underneath your feet. Soften your joint. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, bow. Halfway lift. Bow forward. Release your feet or your hands from your feet. And rise up, mountain pose. Big breath in. Exhale, bow forward. Halfway lift, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. Take warrior three, press off your back foot, Reach your fingertips towards the front of your space. And bring your body into a, ideally a T position, but if that's not there, like that's fine. Yeah, as if you were being pulled in opposite direction. Someone's got you by your fingertips at the front and your foot in the back. Draw your pinky toe down toward the earth beneath you. Draw your hands into the center of your chest. Standing leg raise. Bring your leg through your knee to hip height. And take five breaths in your standing leg raise. You can move your arms to high mountain or low mountain. Grab your toe or your foot if that's there for you. Back your shoulders over your wrists and come back into your breath. Open your knee up to the side. And maybe you steady your gaze to the front of your space or you can even take it over to the left side of your space. 
Draw your thoracic spine and pull your upper arm bones back. Make your way back to the center. Extend your leg out in front of you. Fly back airplane. Reach your fingertips to the back of your foot. Yeah, draw your shoulder blades in. Get active in your arms as if someone was pressing against you. Find that resistance. Boy, you're one. Just bring your foot back to the earth. Spark your fingertips up tall. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one. Drop your back foot, warrior three. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Yeah, and if you need to, bring your hands to the center of your chest, take prayer, prayer hands. Soften your standing knee and ground down into the four corners of your standing foot. Bring your hands to heart center if they're not there already. Standing leg right. Pull your knees through, set yourself up. And then take the arms that you need, whatever that looks like. And take five breaths. And maybe you open up on this side. And if you come out, just get right back in. It's a practice. Draw your knee back to the center. Extend your leg out in front of you and fly back airplane. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Really hug your outer shins in. Find the engagement to cultivate your balance. Warrior one. Step back, fill up. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Step walker, float to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, bow forward. Tadasana mountain pose. Tree, bring your right foot to the inside of your left leg, any point that is not your knee. Your ankle, your shin, all the way up into your inner thigh if you'd like. Draw your hands to heart center. Steady your gaze over your fingertips and take five breaths in this tree. And maybe you're working a different expression of opening your arms or closing your eyes. Come in to your tree. Mountain pose. Tree on your opposite side. Set yourself up. Steady your gaze. And cultivate possibility on this side. Same five breaths. Draw everything into the center line of your body. Mountain pose. Make your way to the top of your mat. Bring your toes right up to the edge. Fill your lungs. 
Bow forward. Halfway lift, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. Open into warrior two. Straighten your front leg, take triangle pose. Reach your fingertips out and then down towards your foot. And I invite you, maybe you play with taking a wider triangle to find more accessibility as you reach over. Ground down into the four corners of your feet. Every inhale, find length. And as you exhale, take a tiny twist open. Yeah, big breath in. Exhale, twist. Fill your lungs. Twist open. Reach your top arm over your head. Bring your bottom arm up to meet it. Stay for five. Four, three, two, one, warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Bring all 10 toes to the right side of your space. Take a big breath in, fold forward. Bring your hands in line with your feet. and soften your joints. If you are playing with an inversion and you want to work getting upside down, like I invite you, grab a bunch of pillows, throw them down on your mat and just try to see you can go upside down. Pull the crown of your head towards the earth and then press your tailbone up tall. If you're not upside down, rise up halfway. Exhale, bow forward. Halfway rise. Fold. If you're upside down, meet us back in a wide leg forward fold. Everyone draw your hands towards your hips. Rise all the way up to standing. Bring your front foot to face 12 o'clock at the front of your space. Step your back foot in about halfway. Fill your lungs, fold forward. Front facing forward, fold. Drop your chin towards your shin and set your gaze at your back big toe. Press your inner ankles back, your outer ankles down. Halfway lift, bow forward, halfway lift, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left side, warrior one. Open warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Triangle pose. Reach out and then down. Yeah, set your gaze at your top thumb. Activate your fingertips towards the sky. And as you inhale, find length on this side. And as you exhale, really rinse open. Big breath and get long. Exhale, twist, fill up, rinse open, warrior two. Straighten your front leg, bring all 10 toes to the left side of your space. Take yourself into a bind. You can grab your hands. If you have a strap or a towel, you can use that as leverage, but fill up and then really rinse out.
stack your hips over your ankles. Notice if you're putting the weight into your heels. And allow gravity to just rinse you out right here. With your bind, rise halfway. Exhale back. Halfway lift. Fold. Keeping your bind, rise all the way up to standing. Bring your front foot to 12 o'clock, step your back foot in halfway. Front facing a forward fold. Fold over your left leg with your bind. Square your hips towards your mat. And if you need to bring ease here, then bend your front knee or lift your back heel up. Halfway lift. Bow forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Come into high plank, low plank, high plank, downward dog, high plank, low plank, high plank, downward dog, high plank, low plank, high plank. Stay in your high plank 15 seconds. Breathe. You've got this. From your skin to your muscles to your bones, hug and breathe. Right here, you've got five, four, three, two, one. Lower to your mat. Rest onto your favorite cheek. Switch cheeks if you have not already. Take a big breath in. Let the air go. Bring your forehead to the center of your chest, or center of your mat. <laughs> And lift just your chest off the earth. Just your shoulders, your upper body, really tapping into those lower back muscles, engaging those, squeezing and tight. And then lower your chest. Now lift just your arms, palms facing down, and lift them up off the earth. Actively engage in your biceps and triceps, like if, if I were coming to move your hands, you wouldn't let me. And lower your arms. And lift your legs off the earth. Squeeze your butt, draw your legs in towards one another. Get active in your feet, whether they are flexed or pointed. And lower your legs. Now take locust, lift as much as you can off of the earth. Yeah, squeeze everything into the center line of your body and then allow yourself to get tighter and get lighter. Yeah, lift up, breathe in, lower to the earth. Take your knees side to side, release your lower back. And go again, locust pose, lift up. Yeah, take yourself even higher off the earth than you did the first locust. Engage every single muscle in your body. Breathe lower to the earth. Take your knees side to side. 
last one locust pose lift up yeah from your skin to your muscles to your bones hug it and then begin to expand from the inside out take your legs higher lift your chest up further yeah you've got this take one more breath lower down take your knees side to side bow pose grab your ankles with your hands and press your shins to the back of your space and draw your sternum up off the earth if a full bow is not there for you take a modified bow grab one ankle at the time at a time and press the earth away from you draw your shoulder blades and move them into your body lower down take your knees side to side bow pose lift up your full bow your modified bow whatever it is go now draw your shoulder blades and move them into your body squeeze everything into your center line get active in your feet active in your breath lower down take your knees side to side flip over onto your back set up for bridge pose now bring your feet in just enough to where your fingertips can touch the back of your heels set your gaze up to the sky your ceiling wherever you are and then lift your hips up yeah you can draw your shoulders underneath you create a shelf but really lift your hips up towards the sky. If you think you can't go anymore, squeeze your butt and press up higher. Lower your hips, take your knees side to side. And you're ready. I think we're all warm enough, we're willing enough. We've got this to do six wheels. Yeah, you're, you're ready now, right now. So go plant your hands, plant your feet, lift yourself up. Yeah, if wheels not in your practice, take another bridge, but really find your fullest expression off the earth. Lower down. Take your knees side to side. And go again, number two. Wheel, let's go, lift up. Ground down your hands, your feet. Press your hips up to the sky. Breathe right here. Lower down. Take your knees side to side. Number three, we're halfway there. Go again, wheel lift up. Yeah, like you are a powerhouse. Come into your power and find your biggest, brightest, expressive wheel. Lower down. Knees side to side. Number four, hands, feet, hit the floor, lift up, let's go, wheel. Yeah, draw your shoulder blades in, move them into your body, press into your hands. Lower down, take your knees side to side. Number five, you are feeling alive, lift up, wheel, go. Yeah, Nicole and everybody, press into your hands. Lift yourself up. Lower down. Take your knees side to side. Number six, wheel. You've got this. Go. Press up. Don't quit. Stay right here. Stay in the fire. Stay in the work. Take five. Four. Yes, Charlotte. Three two one chin to chest come down great work butterfly pose grab bring your hands to one hand to your heart one hand to your belly yeah and just like that as quickly as we got wound up like we bring ourselves back back into our bodies, back into our breath. Yeah, 
happy baby. Grab the outsides of your feet, pull your knees down towards your shoulders. Yeah, you can rock side to side, extend out your legs. Whatever you need right now. Reach your legs straight up towards the sky. Lower your right leg to a hover. Leave your left right where it is. So almost like an L shape with your legs. Bring your hands by your temple and pulse up towards your left leg. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Yeah, press your belly button into your spine. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch your legs. Bring your right leg up, your left leg down to a hover, and pulse up. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. Yeah, you got this. Stay tight and your abdominal muscles keep going. If you need to rest, rest, but then come back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Knees to your chest. Rock and roll two times. Come into boat. Yeah, and take your boat. You can have your heels down on the earth, your shins parallel to your mat, but pull your chest forward towards your legs, active in your feet, and take low boat. Lower your entire body to a hover. Rise up for high boat. Back into low boat. High boat, low boat, high boat. Now row your boat, leave your legs where they are and twist right and left, right and left for 15, 14, 13, 12. I don't know how to count. Eight, <laughs> seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, come to your mat. Take a total body stretch. Arms over your head, reach your finger, your legs out in front of you. Take a big breath in. Open your mouth, let the air out. Draw your knees into your chest. Rock and roll three to five times and then make your way into downward facing dog. However you decide to get there is perfect. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat. Reach your right leg up to the sky, bend your knee, open up your hip, half pigeon. Bring your right knee to your right wrist. And then sink your hips down towards the floor. Yeah, if you need a little extra support, like a block or a bolster or even a pillow to bring underneath your right hip, then fold forward. I've been taking this time at home to really creating new and better habits for myself. And one of the habits that I've been trying to create is just getting up at a consistent 
time every day. And it's really uncomfortable. I do not, I mean, it's like, I get it for work, but like the weekends, Nicole, like you still want me up at 7 a.m.? But like, I need to do that for myself so I can be at optimal capacity to be for myself, to be for others, and to feel refreshed and rejuvenated throughout whatever I incur throughout the day. And like, maybe this posture is uncomfortable, this staying at home is uncomfortable, but like, it's what you need to do for you right now. And know that that's the best thing that you can do for yourself right now. Breathe through whatever's showing up. Make space for what you need to sit with. And experience your experience. Take a big breath in, let the air go. Walk your hands to your hips, downward facing dog. Reset your legs, pedal them out, take what you need. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat, lift your left leg up to the sky, bend your knees, open up, pass the key. And maybe this side is different. What you experience is different. Like, that's okay. Whatever that looks like, however that feels, like, just know, again, this is the best thing that you can do for you right now. To open. To release. To be. If you get lost, come right back to your breath. Take a big breath in, let the air out. Make your way onto your seat. If you need to take a down dog in between, absolutely fine. So find your way onto your seat and we're gonna take shoelace. So bring your right leg over your left. And ideally you'd bring your knees parallel over one another. If you've got super open hips, that's probably available to you. If not, just take yourself as far as you can go and then begin to gently fold forward over your legs. Uh, kind of relieving any extra tension left over in that right hip. Soften your joints and really ground your sits bones into the floor. Just take five more breaths in this posture.
Fill your lung. Let the air go. Come up to seated, extend your legs and wrap them, shake them out. And then set up on the opposite side, shoelace. Bring your left leg over your right. And begin to work your edge. Maybe it's right where it is. And sometimes maybe it's folding all the way forward. Stay in your breath. And release. And we'll take the same five breaths on this side. Walk your hands up to your hips, extend your legs gently, shake them out, reset. Flex your toes towards your face, take a bend in your leg, reach your fingertips up, seated forward fold. And as you fold forward, if you Decide to take your leg straight out in front of you. That's great. If you don't, that's great. Allow your hands to just fall wherever they may. And drop the crown of your head. Pull your shoulders away from your ear. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, fold. Halfway rise, fold forward. Halfway lift, fold forward. Come up to seated. Set up for Eastern tabletop or take reverse tabletop. You can plant your hands to face the direction of your legs or out to the opposite side. Eastern tabletop, you lift your hips, extend your legs. Reverse tabletop, you can bend your knees and lift your hips up. Really open up the entire front side of your body. Allow your head to go back. Open up your chest and throat. Take two more breaths. Really open up, lift your hips tall. Come to the earth. Make your way onto your back. Set up for an inversion of your choice. Waterfall, you can lift your legs straight up towards the sky. Maybe you have a block or a bolster or even a pillow or a prop to put underneath you. Traditional shoulder stands, head stands, hand stand, all available to you. But I invite you to take something rejuvenative. If you're in shoulder stand, you can make your way into plow, reaching your toes towards the earth behind you. If you're in waterfall, maybe you lift your fingertips up towards the sky. From plow, you can take a deaf man's pose, bending your Knees to the outer edges of your ears. If you're upside down, make your way into child's pose. From deaf man's, make your way back into plow, back up into shoulder stand. And everyone come onto your back. Supta Baddha Konasana. One hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, soles of your feet to touch.
Hug your knees into your chest. Take supine twist. Bring your right knee over your left side body. Extend your left leg out in front. Bring your arms to a T position. And set your gaze at your right thumb. Soften your joints, allow gravity to gently rinse you out one final time. Come back to center. Take supine twists on your opposite side, hug your left knee in and drop it over your right side body. Set your gaze over to the left. Make your way back to the center. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze, a big embrace, a big self-care. Thank you. I love you. And then make your way into Shavasana. Final rest. Spread yourself out onto the mat. Close your eyes. And sleep. Take a big breath in, let the air go. 
Gently begin to bring movement back into your body, your awareness back into the space. Yeah, you can shake your head left, right, circle your wrists, your ankles. Draw your knees into your chest. Come onto your right side body. And just take another moment to really acknowledge and honor yourself. With your eyes closed, come to seated at the top of your mat. Draw your hands to the center of your chest. We will seal our practice the same way that we began. Three ohms. Um. your thumb knuckles to forehead center. The light in me loves, honors, and acknowledges the light in every single one of you. Together we bow. Namaste. Great work, everyone. I'm going to get all up in your faces now. Um, so we are committed to doing virtual classes as long as we are able to. So I invite you to stay tuned in to our social media, or I'm sure you're probably on the newsletter. So stay tuned to that communication about what's going on and if there are going to be any changes as um, we adjust to what our government and health officials say is best practices to do. Um, and I am so honored to have been here with you this evening and thank you for allowing me to be a part of your practice. Um, I hope you guys have a splendid rest of your Thursday, rest of your week, um, and I hope to see you virtually soon. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Take Thanks, care. great class. Thank you, thank you. Baby yoga. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Super cute. Oh my goodness. I love babies. So cute. You guys have a good one. Bye.